Welcome, everybody. This is ITWF TV. We are here to bring you all the information and news about the International Domestic Workers Federation Fourth Congress from Belgium to the entire world. This year, under the theme of global solidarity, domestic workers build bridges, close gaps, gain rights. We are celebrating both our 10th anniversary and the longest awaited event within our federation, our Congress. As the highest decision-making body, the Congress is an expression of democracy, accountability, and strength for the domestic workers' global movement. This special occasion deserves special collective coverage, with the participation of our affiliate leaders as star reporters from the ground. One team, one voice, one mission. So remember, all you need to know about our International Congress is here on IDWF TV. Don't miss any details. Stay tuned. The countdown has begun. Our fourth International Congress will take place from October 2nd to 5th, 2023 in Belgium. This highest level event will bring together 163 delegates and 24 observers who represent 88 domestic workers organizations from 68 countries, as well as 22 IDWF staff members and 69 guests from allied organizations, trade unions and funders. In preparation for the Congress, our members had five pre-Congress conferences for seven regions, during which they discussed the way forward for our movement, drafted 37 resolutions, and nominated candidates to represent their regions within the ITWF Executive Committee. In October, delegates from our global membership will elect new leadership, propose and vote on new resolutions, and continue setting the agenda for domestic workers to achieve decent work, dignity, and equality for all. It will also be a perfect occasion to celebrate the IDWF 10th anniversary, strong and united, under the theme of global solidarity, domestic workers build bridges, close gaps, gain rights. Are you ready to make history? We will stay in Dehan, a beautiful coastal village in the north of Belgium. The Congress will be held in a business center and hotel called Center Parks, which has modern and comfortable facilities with everything we need to make our stay enjoyable and our event successful. Once the Congress is concluded, after four days of hard work, we will have some time to unwind and strengthen our sisterhood. We will visit the historic medieval city of Bruges and enjoy a farewell solidarity dinner. Don't forget to pack! In addition to your national costumes and union t-shirts, a lot of enthusiasm for experiencing unforgettable moments. On October 5, we will have a book launch in honor of our beloved founding president and mother of our movement, Myrtle Whitboy. The book is a biography written by her longtime friend, Jennifer Fish, which captures the history of Myrtle's long service to the movement for domestic workers' rights. The event will take place in the city of Bruges and feature a high-level panel. It will be attended by journalists and representatives from local organizations and unions. This will be both an emotional moment and an opportunity to highlight our struggle. You can't miss it! To offer you first-hand information, breaking news, exclusive interviews, and in-depth details of our Congress, we have star reporters representing our affiliates from all regions. 
Latin America. The Caribbean. Asia. The MENA region. North America. Africa. Europe. We also have the valuable support of the ACV communications team and in charge of the executive production and content management, IDWF's communication team. We believe in collective effort and teamwork, and we have one mission, to bring the voice of domestic workers movement to the world. That's all for today. We hope you have enjoyed this edition of IDWF TV. See you soon to share the latest news about our Congress and keep you updated on the domestic workers' global movement. Always united, strong, and in global solidarity. Thank you for joining us. Bye-bye. We are domestic workers, we are